Today's slice of Burnside significance relates to our city's name and the symbols on our crest. Named by a Scottish farmer, Peter Anderson, who settled near Second Creek in 1839, Burn, the Scottish word for river, hence Burnside. This is the crest of the city of Burnside. Before being proclaimed a city in 1856, we were part of the East Torrens Council. This crest was designed by Edward Murray Seymour and it symbolises our early history. When Burnside began, mining, quarrying, farming and winemaking were important local industries. And Burnside produced wheat, barley, oats, flour, timber, lead, silver, stone, olive oil and wine. Flying above uh, the crest is the uh, piping shrike and that became the state bird emblem in 1901. The grapes and the vine leaves represent the wine industry that is still prominent today. It was started by Mary, yes, she made the first wines with her maid, and she made port and sherry, and Christopher Penfold. Their cottage, the Grange, still stands at Penfold Estate and is one of the oldest buildings in Burnside. Dr Penfold was also the first chairman of the District Council of Burnside. The toll house, still standing at the bottom of the freeway, was used between 1841 and 1847 to collect money from users of the road, bringing their goods down from the hills to Adelaide for sale. There were different types of payment depending on the kind of transport, but there was no toll paid on Sundays so people could go to church. This original gate that is um, also on that location was recovered and restored in the early 1950s. Sir Samuel Davenport moved a motion in state parliament to bring about the end of these tolls. One of our founding farmers and horticulturalists at the time was Samuel Davenport, later to become Sir Samuel. And he had a farm that spread from Glenburn Road, just up here, all the way down to Fullerton Road. And he surrounded his vineyards and orchards with olive trees as windbreaks and produced olive oil from those olive trees. Some of these groves still stand in uh, isolated patches in, throughout Burnside, including here at Beaumont House and up near the stone mines in McGill. Two companies, one owned by the Cleland family and the other by Davenport, made olive oil and produced it up until 1962 in this area. Most of the oil was used as a health tonic or for greasing tools and machinery. This was the story of our crest, but it is still symbolises our past and this part of our story remains significant to Burnside to this day.